Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regard to the simple interest and the compound interest. This time, ang magiging focus natin ay more on word problems or problems related to simple interest and compound interest. And if you're interested watching our first video with regard to the simple interest, you can see the link down here and pwede mo rin makita dito sa ating card. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here uh, the first two examples were in it falls under simple interest. So let me read the first one. Jason invested a certain amount of money in JDJ Savings Bank with a 2.5% interest rate. He received 2,250 pesos as interest after two years from his investment. How much did he invest? So before you dive into the topic, first you need to know the problem. Okay? We're asked to find how much did he invest. So if the word is how much did he, did he invest, we are trying to calculate or we are trying to find the principal o kung magkano puhunan ni Jason. So since this one is under simple interest, we will use the formula. I is equal to P R T. Again, I is equal to PRT. But in this case, guys, this formula, this formula will lead you to the answer of the simple interest. Okay, I sub S. But ang pinapanap sa tanay principal, how are we going to find the formula for the principal? Ang ating formula to find to get the formula of the principal, all you need to do is to divide the whole equation by RT and this one is also by RT and as you can see you can cancel out this one you can cancel out this one and then your P is equal to simple interest over rate times time ito na mismo yung formula na gagamitin natin in solving item number one now let's start using P our principal is equal to I sub S over I sub S over rate times time. I, I, no, take note muna natin, what is the value of I sub S or the simple interest rate and time? As for this problem, guys, the value of the simple interest is ito. Sabi dito, he received 2,250 as interest after 2 years. So we have here 2,250 as a simple interest. And as for the rate, yung rate natin guys ha, itong 0, itong 2.5% natin, we need to convert that into decimal form. And the decimal form of 2.5% is 0 0.025. All you need to do is to move 2 units from Two decimal places here, going to the left side. Two. Kaya siya naging 0 0.25. SR, how about the number of years? For the time, the number of years is two years. So now, since we already have the information that we need, like the simple interest, rate, and time, we can directly use the formula and calculate for it. And I hope na meron kayong scientific calculator or any calculator that you can use para mas maging madali ang inyong computation. Now, we will plug in the value of the simple interest. So we have the principal is equal to your simple interest, your I, which is 2,250 over your rate, which is 0 0.025 times your years or time, which is 2, 2 years. And Step by step process, you will multiply first your denominators. So in multiplying 2 times 0 0.025 
then sir is 0 0.05. So you have now 2,250 over 0 0.05. And what you will do is you need to divide 2,250 by 0 0.05. So we will use the calculator. 2,250 divided by 0 0.05. And this will give us the answer of 45,000. So, sir, ano pong ibig sabihin ng 45,000 yan? Itong 45,000 na, na ito, this is the money or this is the amount that JSON invested in JDJ Savings Bank and he earned 2,250 for two years with the interest rate of 2.5%. That's it for item number one. Now let's move on with item number two. Item number two also falls under simple interest. So let me read. Janice has a loan. So ito naman, sa number one, uh, nag-invest dito ng utang. Meron siyang loan. Janice has a loan with an interest rate of 1.5%. The amount of interest is 2,250 for a period of three years. How much is her loan? How much is her loan? So dito, um, if I'm gonna break it down, ang um, hinahat din dito yung ano, parang principal debt, kung magkano yung loan, kung magkano yung inutang nyo mismo. Tandaan na, kapag nungungutang ka kasi, may certain years yan. Tapos yung inutang mo, tutubo yan. Yun yung tinatawag natin interest. At yung interest rate niya ay 1.5%. So, since... They are the same, ang pinagkaiba lang ito, nag-invest, this one, ng utang. We will be using this formula. Principal is equal to I sub S over rate times time. And by the way guys, uh, if ever na pinapahanap yung time or yung rate, you can manipulate the formula. As long as you can use the calculator, hindi ka mawawala. Okay? So let's move on. Here, uh, the simple interest or the interest rate, Interest is 2,250. And then your rate, since this one is 1.5%, that is equivalent to 0 0.015. Then your ating rate. Sir, pakiulit nga po, paano nga po naging 0 0.015? Yung 1.5% mo, to convert this into decimal, you will move two units from right to left. 1, 2. So, 0, decimal place, and 0 0.015. Now, let's continue. So, as we go along, guys, ito na. Ang time naman natin dito, ang haba ng loan ni Janice ay yung time which is 3 years. So, we will continue substituting these values to the given formula. Your principal or yung loan na hinanap natin, uh, ang interest is ito. So, substitute natin yung value, 2,250 over... The rate which is 0 0.015 times the number of years which is 3. So what we will do is to use this calculator. So you will divide the denominator first. Pero kung may scientific calculator ka guys, you can directly uh, solve this. So gawin natin ngayon, multiply natin 3 times 0 0.015 and the answer here is 0 0.045. So here, the principal, uh, the principal is equal to 2,250 pesos over 0 0.045. Okay? So what will happen is you will divide 2,250 by 0 0.045. Okay. So the answer here is this one. Yung amount na nilo ni Janice is 50,000 pesos. Ganito ka laki nilo niya for 3 years with an interest rate of 1.5% at yung interest for 3 years ay 2,250. So kung mapansin nyo, uh, dito masabi ko lang na iwasan natin na pangutang dahil uh, mahirap pangutang at mahirap ang bayan. So in the next part of our video, we will be solving a problem with regard to the compound interest. So let's have the second part of our tutorial video. Dito naman ang focus natin sa solve word problems with regard to the compound interest. Kanina, 
uh, we solve two problems tungkol sa simple interest. And review muna natin na, kapag simple interest, meron tayong specific term. Let's say for example, three years. Ang mangyari simple interest, after three years, saka na magkakaroon siya ng uh, additional interest. Yung principal natin, plus the interest, that is the future or the maturity value. Dito naman sa compound interest, bakit siya mas mahirap or bakit uh, mas malaki yung tubo ng mga investor when it comes to compound interest? Let's say for example, ito muna tayo. Given the principal, ito yung puhunan or yung present value, which is 18,500, and then the interest rate is 3%, and compounded annually for three years. Find the maturity value F and the compound interest I sub C. Ngayon dito guys, ang pinagkaiba kasi ng compound interest, since meron tayong compounded annually for three years, anong nangyari? Um, ito yung sipi nyo guys. Uh, yung 18,500 natin, tutubo yan per year. At yung tubo niya is madadagdag sa principal. Unlike sa simple interest, ano nangyayari? After mismo ng 3 years, isang beses lang o isang bagsakan lang yung mismo tubo niya. Dito, ang inagandahan ng simple inter uh, compound interest for the investors, kapag lumipas na isang buong taon, since compounded annually, lumipas na isang buong taon, ano nangyayari? Magkakaroon siya ng interest for the span of one year at madadagdag sa principal. So magbabago nga yun yung puhunan mo at madadagdagan siya. And then, Another year, magkakaroon siya panibagong tubo, madadagdag ulit siya sa principal mo. Tapos another year, for the last 3 years, magkakaroon siya ng another income. Which is, kaya siya tinatawag na compound interest. So right now, ang formula na natin to calculate for the compound interest is that we have I sub C is equal to F minus P. Yung F natin dito is the maturity value or the future value. Parang yung amount ng investment mo after the term. And then, yung P natin, syempre, yung principal or the present value. So, next naman natin is yung formula for the maturity value, which is F is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to P. Which is, yung R natin is your interest rate. At yung T mo is your term or yung time in years na kung saan uh, ilagay mo yung pera mo. Where in your, pwede naman siya maging investment or loan. And another thing na kailangan kong i-clarify dito, baka malito kayo, meron kasi tayong different types ng compound interest. We're in, ang focus natin dito is compounded siya annually. Meron naman kasi mga word problems we're in, sa isang buong taon, meron siyang different uh, number of times kung kailan siya makakompound. Yung, yung ibang magiging topic kasi natin, pwede siya maging compounded um, monthly, pwede siya magiging, maging compounded quarterly, at pwede siya maging compounded semi-annually. So, let's start with this problem. So, una, uh, pinapanap sa atin dito, find the maturity value F and the compound interest. So, I will use the maturity value formula. F is equal to P times 1 plus R raised to T. Ngayon, itong unahin ko for us to solve for the compound interest later. So, what you will do, Siyempre, kung basic, kung hindi kayo siya na sa math, you will write down the given information. Your principal, which is 18,500 pesos. Tapos, yung inyong R, which is needed para makuha yung future value. Your R is equal to 3%. Yung 3% na guys, you need to uh, convert this one into decimal form. So, tandaan guys ha, when you are converting a percentage to a decimal, ang nabing nyo, you will move two decimal places from right to left. So, ang equivalent nito is 0 0.03. Next naman natin is yung time. Yung time naman natin is compounded 3 years. So, 3. So, ang t natin is equal to 3. So, using these values, your p, r, and t, you will substitute this sa ating formula. So, your f is equal to the principal which is 18,000 pesos. 18,500 pesos times 1 plus your rate which is 0 0.03 raised to T which is 3 years. So, syempre, pag hindi may alaman guys, you can use your scientific calculator. Ako, I'm using my iPad kasi meron ako itong installed application of scientific calculator. What I will do is I will simplify first 1 plus 0 0.03. 
So, syempre, basic pa yan. Huwag mo lang calculator yan. You have 80,500 times. Ito, pag nag sila, that is 1 plus 0, 3 raised to the third power. Ito yung calculator natin. Gapin nyo ngayon, guys, is you will input 1.03 raised to the third power third power and the answer is 1.092727 So ako, hindi ko na siya susulat mo yan and kapag lumabas sa calculator niyo yung sagot nitong 1.03 raised to 3 i-multiply nyo agad siya sa 18,500 So, balik times 18,500 so, ang answer natin dito ngayon, guys, yung future value niya, after 3 years, ha, is 20,215.45. Nag-round off ako ng content. Ito na yung future value natin. And we are done with the first problem. Find the maturity value. Ang ibig sabihin nito, guys, is that ito na yung value ng in-invest mo after 3 years if meron kang rate of 3% and compounded annually. And then let's go with the compound interest. Simply lang yung problem natin. To solve for the compound interest, you need to use I sub C is equal to F minus P. So what you will do is to copy the value here. You have 20,215 pesos, 0.45 minus your Principal, which is 18,500. Mag-calculator na rin kayo dito, guys. So, what you will do here, eto, gagawin natin ngayon, is we have 20,215.45 minus your principal, which is 18,500. So, magiging sabot natin ngayon, the compounded interest is... Simply 1,715.45. Ito din yung sabot natin for the whole problem. Ayun na guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa first part natin which is nag-focus tayo on how to solve for the simple interest. And right now, tinapos na natin yung pag-discuss with regard to the compounded interest. So guys, if meron kayong question or any request or topic that you want me to discuss, Feel free to comment down below and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated on the latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.